here behind me you see that people are standing in the queue and that is because the king and queen king abdullah ii from jordan and his wife the queen and probably as well the queen of the netherlands queen maxima are gathering today and uh, giving a speech so let's see what they have to say the queue is long we're still waiting One sentence that um, I remember is that he said, go and talk to someone, go and talk to someone of a different religion, a different background, go talk to your neighbor. Yeah. So besides these very international issues we're facing, we as citizens of The Hague or of the world, we can actually do something. And it's yeah. so small and so simple, but we just have to do it. Basically, his message is, you know, we have shared values and we have to act upon them. We must think globally but act locally, and it starts with us. Mm -hmm. We can't hide, we have a responsibility to act, and, and only that way can we, can we promote peace, tolerance, and inclusion. It's striking to see how some countries really make an effort and do take in refugees, and while other countries don't really care about it. You're only a good person if you are the same person that is to your neighbor and how you want to be treated, you should treat others. Yeah. And I think no one uh, at this moment is looking at themselves, how they treat others. They're always treating others like in a bad way and then yeah. they think that's the normal way. So you should be more generous, more, more nice. Of course we'll make mistakes and of course there are things beyond our control. But there's no sense in, in, in becoming fatalistic and just you know, blaming the other or what's happening elsewhere. No, we have a role to play and, and, and we should take on that responsibility. I think it was also interesting that he said, um, he, not, he didn't quite make fun of, but the countries that only take a few thousand yeah. of them because he's really passionate about it. Um, and he was trying to explain as to why exactly, you know, other countries weren't doing as much as they could be. He was also sharing um, his religious views, how it is to be a Muslim. Yeah. And uh, I believe sometimes uh, we are very polarized and having a negative view um, what uh, Islam is, but he made it very tangible indeed. Um, it's treating uh, your neighbor like you want to be treated yourself, um, doing good for others. And very simple principles which apply to all religions. So it was, it was really making the connection as well. At the end of the day, it's all about power and, and, and the okay. desire uh, to share power or to, mm -hmm. to hold on to it. Um, so yes, uh, everything is political, um, mm -hmm. sadly. Uh, but politics can also be a force for good. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's how you use your your power to either. Uh, promote inclusion or encourage exclusion. Mm -hmm. I think that the Netherlands, Germany, all those countries here who are facing refugee problems as well, they can learn a lot from the message that he was giving us today. Sometimes you see someone saying things like, I don't even believe you're doing it, you're mm -hmm. saying it. 
But I believe that him, it's like both sides. He's yeah. saying it, he's spreading the message, but he's actually doing it. What I always encourage people, uh, young and old, and especially the young when I'm speaking with them, is to, to, um, to be self-conscious mm -hmm. and, and critical of what they hear and see. To, to question and listen rather than to judge and ignore. Mm -hmm. I think if we want to become members of a more just and equal society, it starts with respect and solidarity. Yeah. And you only achieve that if you ha open up yourself, your mind, your heart to the, to the other. Yeah. If you are fearful of the other, that says a lot about you yourself. He had pressure from the other people saying that he should stop taking refugees. Mm. And he just said, well, if a woman with her children comes to the border, yeah. what are you going to do? Are you going to shoot at her? That's what the other party is doing. And that was really a very good example, because that is so true. Like, what do you do? That's what other countries are doing. There are, there are like photos of, um, you know, war-torn places with children that are trying to cross the border. But I think we're almost acclimatized to it now. I don't know. Yeah. We see it so much that it's... It's almost like it doesn't matter to us anymore. And I don't think that we hear any individual stories. Yeah. We hear the big broad picture, but we don't actually see, well, that's what happened to a woman and a child. So we don't feel connected to the whole thing. So I think it touched from being a world citizen. And the world citizen means that not the religion counts, not the boundaries count. Everyone's the same and every religion has the same base principle. Treat the other as you want to be treated yourself. If one day you would become president, I would vote for you. Well, who knows? <laughs> Maybe that is what I'll do next.